This is a short training video to demonstrate the initial setup of the Aqualex fluid management system using the VAXAC suction system. These are the items required for carrying out a procedure using the Aqualex fluid management system. The following consumable items will be received into the sterile field. One Myshaw or Omni hysteroscope, one inflow tubing set, one outflow tubing set, one packet of scope seals, and one underbuttock drape. The following consumable items are required for the procedure in the non-sterile field. Two VAXAC suction liners blue, two VAXAC suction liners black, VAXAC tissue trap, white connector, two VAXAC tandem tubing, and a bag of saline, preferably three litres. Open the single-use scope seal packet carefully on the side which says Myershaw and this will reveal two dome-shaped seals. Take one seal and insert it into the end of the scope ensuring the dome shape is facing down and screw on the end cap. Insert the second seal into the end of the outflow channel again ensuring the dome shape is facing down and screw on the end cap. Now let's prepare the Aqualex system. We will start with a pre-check. Go to the back of the Aqualex pump and check the black dial is at the two o'clock position. Check both low and high reusable vacuum tubes are connected and secure. Finger tighten both. If there is any moisture visible in the vacuum tubing or filter, this will need to be replaced. The low suction pressure is set to 225 millimetres of mercury constant pressure. The high suction pressure is adjustable up to 500 millimetres of mercury by rotating the dial and can be utilised during a Myershaw procedure to improve cutting efficiency. Check the scale connector is secure and finger tighten. We are now ready to set up the canisters. To protect the scale, lift the canisters off the cart and onto the floor. Before inserting the liner into the canisters, they each need to be fully expanded. The black liners contain a filter as shown here and always need to be positioned at the back of the cart. Now insert the liner into each canister by pushing down around the edges of the liner to ensure a tight seal. You will need an adapter for the black canisters as shown to connect the reusable vacuum tubing. We are now ready to assemble the canisters onto the cart. There are two sides to set up which work independently. The right side of the cart is for the outflow diagnostic setup and the left side is for the operative Myshaw procedure. Hang the canisters onto the cart. Caution, do not use excessive force when placing the canisters onto the cart to avoid damage. First, ensure the reusable vacuum tubing is connected in the center of the canisters. This tubing is reusable and only needs to be replaced if moisture or damage occurs. Now attach the tandem tube from the front to the back canisters as shown. Blue always to the front and ensure a tight seal at both ends. This can be a common troubleshooting recommendation. Then ensure the back black canister is connected to the low vacuum source by attaching the reusable vacuum tubing as shown. Repeat the same setup on the left side by ensuring the high reusable vacuum tubing is connected to the back black canister from the pump. Then ensure the reusable vacuum tubing is connected in the middle of the canisters. Next, attach the tandem tube from the front to the back canisters as shown. Blue always to the front and ensure a tight seal at both ends. Finally, on this side, you need to connect the VAXAC tissue trap 
Before attaching onto the canister, check it is securely sealed by removing the lid and ensuring it is tightly fitted. If you have one available, insert the white connector into the tissue trap outlet. This will enable a secure fit for the MySure device. One end of the white connector will fit more easily into the tissue trap as shown. Clip the tissue trap onto the front left suction liner outer rim and connect the tube to the tissue trap and the canister. The air will now be drawn through the canister set as shown. The yellow marks indicate the flow of suction from both the constant low vacuum on the right and the adjustable high vacuum on the left, which work independently. A reminder, this vacuum tubing is reusable and can remain connected to the canisters. The dark blue marks show the fluid that is pulled through from the patient. On the right side, it is pulled through from both the outflow channel and the underbuttock drape. On the left side, it is pulled through the tissue trap connected to the Myasure device. The light blue arrows show the flow of fluid being suctioned from the front to the back canisters. If the front canister becomes full, it will flow into the back canister through the tandem tubing. Also note, that for the majority of procedures, you will only need to replace three items, the front canisters and the tissue trap. You only need to replace the tandem tubing if they are used and the fluid cascades into the back canisters. Switch on the Aqualex. The system will perform a calibration check which takes a few seconds and then an audible sound will be heard to let you know it's complete. The screen will say, System OK. Attach the blue lure lock tip to the inflow port on the scope. Then hand the two spikes to the circulator. The circulator will align the arrow on the microchip and slide it into position and then wrap the tube around the pump wheel, gently stretching it into the housing as shown. A diagram on the pump will help remind you of the steps to insert the tubing. You will hear an audible sound when the microchip is correctly housed. Clamp both clips next to each spike and then spike the bag of saline. Unclamp the clip connected to the saline bag. Inflow setup is now complete. The outflow tubing is in the shape of a Y with three openings. Yellow lure lock of the outflow channel on the scope, yellow tip on the underbuttock drape and white tip for the front right canister. Attach the yellow lure lock to the outflow channel of the hysteroscope and attach the yellow tip to the underbuttock drape. Ensure you do not clamp the tubing as shown. The white tip end will be handed to the circulator and inserted into the right front canister as shown. Outflow setup is now complete. Pressure will default to 80 millimetres of mercury. Use the arrow buttons to increase or decrease the intrauterine pressure during the procedure at the consultant's request. The minimum pressure setting can be set to 40 millimetres of mercury and adjusted up to 150 millimetres of mercury. Once a safety threshold of 100 millimetres of mercury is reached, an audible warning sound is emitted. Release the button for one second and scroll again to set higher values up to 150 millimetres of mercury. For a healthy patient, set saline fluid deficit limit on the Aqualex to 2,500 millilitres. Always refer to local guidelines.
Now you are ready to prime the scope. Open both inflow and outflow stopcocks on the scope. Point the tip of the scope into the underbuttock drape in line with the axes of the uterus. Press the prime button to start priming the system. Saline will be pumped through the scope at various speeds to calibrate for approximately 20 seconds. The pump will make an audible sound when the calibration is completed and the screen on the Aqualex will display Prime Successful Close Stop Cock. Press the Pause Resume button to stop the fluid flow or the clinician can close the inflow stop cock on the hysteroscope. Press and hold the Zero Deficit button on the Aqualex pump. This will zero the fluid deficit used during the priming. You will hear an audible sound and the numbers on the screen will reset to zero. You are now set up and ready to begin. If intrauterine pathology has been identified and needs to be removed, ask the clinician which Myasure device they require. Note the Myasure manual device does not require use with the Aqualex fluid management system or Myasure controller. Connect the large green end of the white drive cable into the Myasure controller located below the Aqualex pump. Insert the arrow facing up and the small pin at the bottom and the large pin at the top. You will hear a click once connected. Next, connect the tubing from the Myasure device which has a green tip to the tissue trap port. Note, due to the sensitivity of the Aqualex scales, the system will automatically pause when any pressure is applied to the canisters. An audible sound will be heard and the message screen will say, pump paused, when this occurs. Ensure you press the pause resume button to start the fluid flow again when the clinician is ready. Thank you for watching. If you require any additional training or support, please contact your local representative.